This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. We are here for the case of Ross Bennett versus Chappelle. You all have been together three years. Y'all yes. met at a gas station. Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. And I want to know why you have brought your significant other to court today. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today because I'm five months pregnant with our third child, and I'm actually trying to see if he's actually continually cheating with his ex right now. I need to know. All right, Mrs. Chappelle, you hear what she's saying about you. Are you cheating? No, Your Honor, and, and today I, I'm here to prove I, uh, I, I'm not cheating on her. I do really love my family and, and want my family. Ms. Ross Ben, what are you wanting this court to do? I just need to know the truth. Is he still cheating so I can move on with my life? And honestly, if he is, I'm just done because I'm tired of going over the same thing over and over again. So what would be the last straw for you? If his lie detector test come back that he lied, that's the last straw. And that's so last everything straw. is at risk. That's the last straw. So, Mr. Chappelle, do you want this to work? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, but what does she mean to you? Uh, she means everything. That's my best friend. I don't have nobody but her. Honestly, it's just this bond we got. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And Look before, at that career. <laughs> it's a bond we got, and honestly, I ain't really cared about nobody else like I care about him. All right, Mrs. Chappelle, you want to prove to her that you are not cheating? Yes, Your Honor. I've been clean of cheating and all that for, for a year now, Your Honor. For a year? Y yes, Your Honor. But you don't believe it. I'm looking at a look on your face. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I don't believe it at all. So what happened in the past? Well, in the past, he actually... The first thing in the past, he told me the car he was driving was his family member car, and it was a woman car the whole time, so... All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell okay. me about how is he driving a car and, and telling you it's somebody else's? We actually got into an argument when I was pregnant. I had just found out I was pregnant with our first child. We got into an argument and my hormones all over. And I told him, I'm like, get out, don't come back. But I didn't mean it. And next thing I know, a week later, his family calling me like, uh, yeah, he has a new woman. And that's when I'm like, okay. So when his family is calling you saying he's got somebody new, and you're pregnant with his child. Yes. How were you feeling about that? Honestly, I was stressed out, depressed, hurt. Like, I was there in the whole pregnancy by myself. Like, nobody was there but my family. Like, he came towards the end of my pregnancy. So what, what happened with this car? The car, he came over and he came to pick me up to take me to get something to eat. We're in the car. He went into the gas station first because we had to get gas. And he, while he go out in the car, I'm in there doing investigation. And I open the glove compartment. It's a box of Magnum condoms. Like, not a little box, not the three in a pack. It's a big box of Magnum condoms. Like, you need it for a nah. month to supply. Nah. Whose car was he saying? Nah. Was he saying it was his car? No, he said it was his family car. Mr. Chappelle, you, you, whose car was it? Your Honor, it, it, it was a family member car. It wasn't my condoms or anything that she found in, in the car. Okay, well, Ms. Ross Bennett, I mean, it makes sense. It's not his car, so anything you find in there probably doesn't belong to him. Why do you think that is an indication that he's cheating? Because that was the only time I found something in the car. I went back when he came and took me to the OB appointment. I found the perfume, the mail with her name on there. Yeah, like, can I object? It was more evidence to just <laughs> can, can verify I that it wasn't I, a family member's car. So, I, but whose car was this? If it, it was a woman car. How did you find this out? Well, one time he was by my house and his family member was over there. The family member showed me the password to his phone and he did not know of it. And, like, the night he went to sleep, I got up, I'm going to the bathroom, and I took the phone with me and I went through it. And I seen him tell her, drive safe, hon. And I'm like, drive safe? Oh, that was already answered enough questions. Hold, hold, hold on. How did you know she owned the car, though? Well, I actually, when I got the information, I took the license plate and I actually put it in, uh, it's like a thing you can go online and look up who the vehicle owns. Yeah, Press yeah. <laughs> so, so, you just I, a regular I did Sherlock Holmes. As a woman, I'm not gonna sit around and look like nobody fool. So, I did my own investigation and it all added up. And I'm gonna presume this woman is not his relative. No, it's not his brother. <laughs> oh, no. You're on the dude, dude. Okay, Mr. Chappelle, what do you have to say about all this? What I could say, do she have proof that it was a woman's car? Is there pictures or any, any of this saying it was a woman's car? Okay, the car is registered to a woman. I think that's what she found out. Well, that, that, that's what, what she says. Well, you told her it was a family member's it, car, it, right? It wasn't a family member's car. It, it, Your Honor, it, it, it's a family member car. That... Okay, Mr. Chappelle... You're in court, you're under oath, you're supposed to tell the truth. Now, this car wasn't a family member's car, was it? Your, your Honor, that, that's, that, that, that's what I, I told her in, in the beginning. 
Okay. That, that it was a family member car until I, I got the the picture of the the condom box, the the perfume. I don't I don't know what she's talking about. All right, Mr. Mr. Chappelle, you've taken this car, you've driven it all the way around the block. You still haven't answered my question. So park it, <laughs> park the car, and just answer my question. This was not a family member's car, was it? Yes, yes, Your Honor, it was a family member's car. Who is this woman? Do but, you know her? But Your Honor, how how did yes she not? Yes, my question. Yes, Your Honor. You know her? Yes, yes, Your Honor. How do you know this woman? She, 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 she's a friend, Your Honor. Wink, wink. What kind she of friend? She's not a family member. No, no, Your Honor. Why did you tell your girlfriend it was a family member's car? Because the, the, the way uh, Ashley will, will react about the situation. If she would have knew right then and there, it, it wouldn't have been a good situation. Because... It ain't a good situation now! <laughs> <laughs> you right. Were you intimate with her? No, not at the time, Your Honor. Not at the time. What time were you intimate with her? She said well, we, we didn't break up. We didn't. But from get out and don't come back, I took it as I, I, I'm going to leave and don't come back. Did you tell him get out and don't come back? I mean, I didn't say don't come back. I just said get out. I didn't say, oh, don't come back. I said just get out because we was arguing. It was like, going to go back and forth. So I just said get out. Like she, she never said come back. She said get out and don't come back. All right. Well, from let let me make later. sure I got this story. You tell him get out. He calls a friend, let you use her car, and I think you have hinted that you all had sex after you got out. Is that true? It's two months later. So, did you continue to have interaction with this woman? We, we, we was friends, friends for, for the two months. Once Ashley put me out in, in March, is, that's when I, I, I met the girl. Okay, so you met her after you got put out. Yes. And two months after meeting her, you all hooked up. Correct. No. Okay, so okay. after all this, y'all managed to get back together. We had a baby together. I was trying to make it work. I felt like, oh, he could change, he could change. He, it felt like he changed for a while. It was some months, like, months, you know? And then, like, I had my son. Everything was okay. And then I found out I had postpartum. And then, here he go, he gone again. Like, he just can't stay around when you need him. He just around, you know, when he wanted me around. What makes you believe he's cheating now? Oh, I've seen it this year now, like, writing women on dating sites. Okay, right. what is this about you, dating Honor, sites? I, I'm, I'm not having sexual contact with no woman. That's hard to believe. Okay, so we got into a little argument, like always. Any couple gonna argue, but he run from his situation. He don't know how to communicate. Like, it's a communication problem. He just, okay, I'm gone. Where did he tell you he was going? He told me that wasn't my business, so All right. I don't know. So, Mr. Chappelle, where did you go? A a everywhere, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> Hanging out with friends? Yeah, pretty much. I, I went with, with no, no women. If I, you asked her where she's going and she told you none of your business, what would you think? She was probably with somebody. Okay. <laughs> so exactly. you're not helping. You're right. not helping your But he argument. said he was hanging out with his buddies. I know what he said, and I also heard what he said to his wife. And what he said to her was, none of your business. But he's, don't, don't he's even allowed try to hang it. with his buddies, right? Don't even Wait, try no, no. it. He's allowed to hang out with his buddies, right? That's a yes or no okay, question. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how you came at him, but, you know, I, I get that. So, you said something about dating sites. Yes. He's Why do you believe them. he's on dating sites or using dating apps? Well, we were supposed to go out to dinner. We did go out to dinner, but when he came home, he had an attitude like he didn't want to go. We, we had planned this for, like, three days prior to us going out to dinner with the family. We get there, we eat, I left it alone. I see his phone study going off, but, you know, he turned it on silent so I wouldn't hear it anymore, and then he put it in his pocket. And okay. after we left dinner, we got home, he went to the restroom, but he left the phone on the bed. And when I seen it on the bed, I'm like, Stupid. Okay, a woman, you know, I'm gonna go through it. So I went through it, I picked it up, I go through it, and I see her calling as I went through. She wasn't just calling, like, trying to talk. She was trying to FaceTime him. So I see the texts. I text her back. I said, who is this? And she was like, oh, really? So now you don't know who I am? Okay, then, bye. But you're not right, going, Chappelle. Look, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. That's going I really hard. was. Who was this woman? Did you meet her on a dating site? Yes, Your Honor. What's your relationship to you? D there is no relationship. It, it was only a, a one-day thing. A but they FaceTiming at work. He yeah. at work, but he FaceTiming her, so it was fun. Oh. Huh. That, 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 that's all it was, Co conversation. But why is this woman saying to his girlfriend, you don't know who I am? That indicates that there's been more than one, one day time. of conversation. Thank you, thank you. My uh, point is actually, and next thing I know, he was texting an ex, too. So this is also recent that yes. he's been texting yes. with his ex? Yes, yes. Her boyfriend or whatever, he reached me on Facebook and was telling me how 
they got into it when he was there and how he's still contacting her and... What contact are you having with his ex? Your Honor, there is no contact over the year. Of May 2016, me and that uh, girl haven't contacted each other, no sexual contact, nothing. Mm. No, no, no email, no, 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 no FaceTime, no, no Facebook. Uh, I'm on phone punishment, Your Honor. You on He's phone lucky. punishment? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> and so what is phone punishment? No, no, no phone, phone punishment it go, goes back from the, the last incident in, in February. She said, since you want to do this, I'm gonna take the phone. That's why I have no phone today. You see that? Whole girl slapped it down. You she ain't gonna have it in the no. of that. I'm not gonna help him talk to the women. If he gonna do it, he better go out there and do it himself. All right, to get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes. They don't notice. All right, Mr. Eccles, how are you doing today? Fine, Your Honors. How are you doing? Doing good. It's good how to see you? you. How are you doing, ma'am? In connection with this case, what did you do in your investigation? Well, I went undercover and I posed as a litigant and that I was being accused as a person who was cheating on his spouse. Ah. All right, so in this case, what did you uncover? We started engaging in our conversation about the nature of his relationship with someone he had met on an internet site. February, February, like this last February, recent. <laughs> That's a recent time. That should have just talked on the phone. I ain't never smashed that girl. So basically, he said he never touched the girl. Is so that correct? So in this actual um, video clip, he did say that he never, in his terms, smashed her. <laughs> <laughs> and you believed him? At this particular time, yes, I did. Okay, I did what else happened? Well, now myself and Mr. Chappelle's getting a little bit more comfortable. And I started talking to him in reference to texting his ex-girlfriend. Okay. So y'all must be still texting each other. She must have called Texas. Okay, so by revealing this, he denied texting his girlfriend. And his you believe And at this time, I still believe it. So did you find anything incriminating? Well, I tell you, Your Honor, at one point, I was believing everything that he was telling me, and then I started talking to him about a situation where he went out a couple of nights ago. And at this point, I was surprised by his response. All right, let's see the tape. Your, your Honor, it, 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 it was no, no, no woman. You didn't know, want it was on tape. Uh, <laughs> Are you telling me to believe you and not believe what I just saw? Your Honor, you can believe me. How do you I am. You, you just woman. said I was with another girl. I was just out, Your Honor. But was you with a woman, though? That's what she said. Did you hear her? No, it's all different types of women in the world. Oh, okay. it, 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 Mr. Yeah, Chappelle. Look, Mr. we Chappelle. are asking you about the types of women. Nah, I'm asking nah, you... It wasn't no, it wasn't no let, let's hang out or any of this, just me and her, or any of that. I, I was out riding, being honest. Mr. Eccles, did he give you any more information? Well, no, he didn't, but what I found, he does something what I call diverted denials. In other words, he tries to take you around and around and around until you mm -hmm. get to the right spot. I am so tired of that circle <laughs> he's been out yeah, having so, so that's okay. something that he does, and then you have to really zero in and give him a specific question. And that's what I determined. But I couldn't determine through that um, interview process that he was actually having sex with any of the ind individuals, but I did find him questionable. To further get to the bottom of this, the court has ordered a polygraph test of Mr. Chappelle, and we have the result. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Shell into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and take the witness. Mr. Mr. Shell, we need you today. <laughs> I did. Please have a seat. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank All you. Right. You performed a polygraph examination of Mr. Chappelle, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Chappelle, did you have sexual contact with a girl you were communicating with from the dating site? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was truthful. 
Don't clap yet now. It ain't over. Ms. Ross Bennett, you, you're not convinced? No. All right, well, we have one last question. Okay. You asked Mr. Chappelle, have you had sexual contact with your ex since May of 2016? What was Mr. Chappelle's response? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was truthful. There it is. I'm done. Like, really done. Like, you literally stayed out all night with women when your kids at home. I'm pregnant, but you out with women. No, I'm done. Miss Neal, you and your girlfriend have been in a same-sex relationship for six years now. Is that correct? Yes. And that relationship is in jeopardy because you believe she's cheating on you. Yes, Your Honor. Hey. Tell the court why you've opened this case today. Well, Your Honor, I believe that she's been cheating because of all the things that I've been saying on Facebook. We uh, both stay in two separate cities, and, and I just really just... Just from, like, the um, Facebook statuses that she's been making mm -hmm. about her being horny, about her being lonely. And, and, and I'm like, why won't you text that to me instead of just letting the whole world see that? And let's put your relationship in jeopardy. Yes, definitely. Uh, Ms. Neal, you actually submitted to the court in the file the status you're referring to. It says, I woke up horny with no one to give me none. I gotta try to get back to my wet dream. Yeah, and I... Yeah. <laughs> and this makes you think your girlfriend's cheating? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's uh, a... <laughs> and if you find out message. she is cheating? That's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not moving up there with her. I'm done. Yeah. All right. Miss Ruffin? Miss Ruffin. Yes. This is some message to see. When I get mad, I put stuff on Facebook. She don't have huh. reasons, but that... You... Well, let me see that, because this message doesn't say you were mad. <laughs> it just says you were... What it says exactly. is... That I was horny. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, I've been trying to get her to Virginia for five months now. Okay. And sh when, when I try to get her there and she gives me these excuses, I'm getting mad. And I'm trying to get her attention with Facebook. So just do it. To, so just go so to the So you world. posted this out of anger because she's not with you. Yes. But that's not the way to do that. I know I'm, I'm a different kind of person, so... <laughs> but... Don't you see your being a different kind of person is putting this relationship in jeopardy? Put, what's putting this relationship in jeopardy is her living in Florida and me in Virginia. No, no, yes. no. We started our first couple of years when we were in college. We'd go home to our respective cities for the summer just before Facebook, before cell phones, before email. You know, it was... Dear Dana, I love you. I miss you. <laughs> so, we talking old school. So, I know what a long distance relationship is like. But y'all old school... That doesn't put it in jeopardy. See, What's old school the... people know how to keep it together. <laughs> I, I don't know. And that's going there be some on. truth in that, but y'all gotta learn that. You can't use that as an excuse Well, we're not old school, so we can't do it. You can do it. And whether it's old school and... or new school, but you see how that can cause problems in a relationship, right? Yeah. And you see how it's causing problems in this relationship. Yes. How did you all meet? Well, <laughs> well, I was working, and she used to come to my job, but I never noticed her. So, like, one day, I get a Facebook uh, message, and she says, oh, if um, you I don't said, notice me... She I said, know you know I want you. Hold on. I want to I wanna hear her <laughs> side. Wow. I want to hear your side. Okay. <laughs> she told me that if I didn't notice her, she was going to throw a box of crackers at me. So... <laughs> okay, so yeah. did you notice her after that? Yeah, I gave her my number. Okay. Yeah. So, but had you noticed her before then? Nah. Okay, I, so... I had unliked a thousand pictures. I commented on everything. She was not paying me no mind. And, so, you, and you're like, what a girl gotta do? Yeah. <laughs> so we have this cute little beginning. She's yeah. stalking you. You like being yeah. stalked. <laughs> How do we end up at this point with you in court accusing her of cheating? She had cheated before in the past. And when she was working at, at a, um, on a barbecue stand, Okay. The guy that she was working with, he was, like, a little younger than her, so I didn't expect that they'll actually do anything, you know, ha have any type of connection, anything. So, like, I was getting phone calls, people saying, hey, hey I just seen your girlfriend uh, hugged up with the barbecue dude. You know, everybody telling me that and telling me that they seen them kissing. So then I, like, contact her, and I'm like, hey, why is people telling me that you 
with the guy. And she like, we did get close. So I'm like, what you mean close? Like, as you like him? And she like, yeah. So I'm like, Toy, we in a relationship. What do you mean you like him? And that was he... way after the fact. Let me tell you how this happened. In 2014, I told her I wanted to get married. She looked me in my face and told me, <clears throat> I would never marry a female. This her reason for cheating. Now, though. no, um, that's not my reason for cheating, but right, I'm sorry. talking to the judge. So, Ooh. I hold grudges. And I held that grudge from that day on because I felt like, what goal do we have in this relationship? Why are we in this relationship? So, two years after that, that's when that happened at, at my job or whatever. And I started cheating. But I had my grudge. And I felt like, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Before that, this marriage thing came up again. So she's now saying, let's get married. Yeah. But you still carrying a grudge from when she said she wouldn't marry. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so when it came down to it, we sitting down, we talking about it. So then she came up with another excuse. She said, maybe we need to get settled down first. We got a house, a car, we work, we got money. Settle down how? We already settled down. Right. So I took that marriage book and I threw it in the back of the trunk and now I don't care. Okay. When I get to that point where I don't care, I just don't care. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Okay. And so that's when you started cheating? Yeah. Yeah, but she kept denying it, though. You know what I'm saying? She kept saying that they wasn't doing anything. She was just staying the night with him. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just like lies after lies. Like, even in the text message, I even read that he says something about having sex. And she was like, oh, no, he just orally gave me sex. That's it. What happens next? It was about, like, a week later, find out that she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I found out she was pregnant. Uh, she, yeah, she texted my phone and was like, I'm pregnant. All right, well, here's the thing. Me and, me and Judge Cutler are just judges. We're not doctors. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it don't take a doctor to figure out that you didn't get her pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so, Miss Ruffin? Yes, ma'am. Is, Is this the another... barbecue man the... Is this another grudge thing? I mean, that's where it all came from with me, because I be trying to reach out to her and tell her what's going on with me, but she just, oh, you lying. She don't even want to hear it. Well, but it is, yeah, it was. Well, people event. indulge their grudges a lot of ways. Some people, you know, go out and eat chocolate. Some people shop. Some people oh, buy no. shoes. Buy that's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. A lot of people don't go out and just get pregnant. Right. Well, I didn't... I what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> or go out and just have sex with, you know, whoever they find. I mean, why are you using cheating as a way to get back at her? I don't know. I really don't know. Do you love her? Yes, I do. Okay, you know, my definition of love, and I think the world kind of sees love this way, is it's not a vehicle or a tool to beat somebody over the head with. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? That's not where love is. Now, you might be in like with her, you might be in lust with her, and you may be moving toward love. But love, this is my one place. I can come and know I'm safe 24-7. And I don't think that you're creating that safe space for her. So, Miss Neal, let me ask this. She's pregnant. She has the baby. Mm -hmm. What happens then? Well, she continued the affair with the guy. So she like, okay, it is what it is. I'll step over your crime body so I can go back to him. You know, like... Wow. And... Wow, that's a visual. Yeah. So, did you all ever get back together where yep. she's like, I'm through with this gentleman and I'm... Mm -hmm. it's gonna be me and you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that happened. That so y'all got to that point? Yeah, we got through that point. We and... did get back together. And so you're back together, you're raising this baby together, is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm here, I done... Whenever she was pregnant, I bought everything for the baby. I made sure she was good, because she had stopped working. And and I told her, you know, I'll, I'll take care of everything. And... So they... you basically stepped up and have become, been a co-parent. You've supported her financially, yeah. emotionally. Yes. You're co-parenting this child. Yes. But now you think she's cheating again. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Tell That's us why honor. you believe that. Because she had the same signs of what she was doing before whenever she cheated. Then I had people calling me, telling me again, 
especially family members, telling me that he's back up there in Virginia with her this, again. The baby's father. Yeah, the, the baby's father. The same person. The same person. That was in your relationship before. Yes. People are telling you now he's back. Yeah, he's going around. No, well, they were saying he's that he was going back. around. They, they were saying that he was going around telling people that they're going to make their family work. Everything's going to be good with them, and... And this is exacerbated because now you all aren't even in the same city. Exactly, yeah. All right, Miss Ms. Ms. Ruffin, Ruffin, are you having an affair with this gentleman? Or is this continuing? No. All right. Did you ask him to come see you? I asked him to come to Virginia to see the baby. But I did that out of anger once again because I asked her to come because I had a babysitting issue for work. Okay. So I had to quit my job because she wouldn't come. And nothing was keeping her from coming this time. And she wouldn't come help me or whatever. So I got mad and texted him and told him I needed him. When was he gonna come to see the baby? And he was like, in two weeks or whatever. I never had the intention of letting him come because I actually did it so I can tell her so she can be like, oh no, I'm finna go up there now. This is the same thing that happened two years ago. Yeah. When, you know, you got mad and decided I'm going to contact him, be involved with him on a level to hurt her. That's where the problem comes in. But you're saying that you didn't sleep with him. After you, after you all got back together, you're saying you did not have any kind of intimate relationship with him. No, he never came to Virginia. I'm not cheating with him. I'm not having sex with him. All right. Um, there's... Um. Miss Neal's side, there's Miss Ruffin's side, and there's the baby's daddy's side. He is here to testify today. Mm -hmm. Rob, would you show him in? Yes, sir. Oh, me. Good day, sir. How are you? Good evening. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Kendall Jackson. <laughs> All right, Mr. Jackson, have you been to Virginia to visit Ms. Ruffin? No. No. Not at all. No, no, sir. All right. Do you think Ms. Ruffin is cheating on Ms. Neal? I mean, not with me. So, <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't know what she do, you know, but she ain't cheating with me. Well, thank you, Mr. Jackson, for your thank testimony you. and your clarity. Thank you. Think we've heard enough? I think we've heard enough. We've got Miss Ruffin has cheated in the past with Mr. Jackson, and Miss Neal thinks they're back sleeping together, although we have testimony that he isn't. Miss Neal has heard from her family members that Mr. Jackson has been bragging that this family was going to come back together and they're meeting and they're getting together. And then these various Facebook postings. We had one in the court file about her being horny, and because of all of this, Miss Neal believes that Miss Ruffin is in fact cheating again against her and that she will be done with this relationship if she's cheating. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine is she cheating. <laughs> Mom, please report Mr. Platt in. Mr. Platt. Mr. Platt, how are you? Good, Your Honors. How are y'all? We're good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. Good to see you, sir. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Ruffin. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. For the court record, would you please state your credentials? I have almost 30 years' experience in the United States military and in law enforcement. I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for over 10 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. All right, so you've done a couple. Yes, ma'am. So there were a number of questions asked. One was, since the birth of your daughter, have you had sexual intercourse with Mr. Jackson? What was Ms. Ruffin's response? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. Ms. Ruffin? <laughs> I don't have anything to say right now. I apologize for that. All right. Ms. Ruffin was asked, since moving to Virginia in April of 2017, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone 
man or woman, other than Ms. Neal? What was her response to that question? What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was showing deception. Ms. Ruffin, do you have anything to say now? That's crazy. Who, who is it that you've had sexual contact with? It's a girl that sh I told her that I was chilling with, but like on a friend level. Mm. But I did have sex with her. Ms. Neal, do you want this relationship to continue now that you've heard this information? I do love her, but after hearing that, it just really puts me in a whole nother mind frame of... It's I... gonna continue. <laughs> Ms. Ruffin, you want the relationship to continue? It's going to. So what you gonna do differently? I'm not gonna cheat anymore. I wish you had said you're not gonna hold grudges anymore, because that's where your source is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's a saying that I've heard. It says, same sex, same problems. Same sex couples have the same problems as heterosexual couples. And so you cannot use cheating, revenge, grudges, grudges as a means to control the other person in your relationship. Are you willing to do that? <clears throat> I'm willing to do it, but I don't know if I can. You all are married. You've been together for 10 years. You've got three kids together. But a recent change in Mr. Brown's behavior may result in a permanent change to this relationship. Am I right, Ms. Brown? Yes, Your Honor. Right. You've initiated this case today. Tell us why. Me and Eli are, like, a very open couple. He's my best friend. We have no secrets. We're... We even share phones sometimes. If he needs to use my phone, that's fine. If I need to use his phone, that's fine. It's never been an issue. Recently, there was an incident where I needed to use the flashlight on his phone. I go to put the password into the phone. It doesn't work. He looks at me and grabs the phone away, puts whatever the password is in now, mm -hmm. and allows me to use the flashlight. But so that means the password has changed, right? Okay. The next point that I have is we sleep naked. Always have our whole entire relationship, our whole entire marriage. That's something that we do. We're comfortable. That's how we sleep. Lately, Mr. Brown is covered <laughs> up to the neck. He's wearing a turtleneck to bed. Covered up to the neck with the comforter, back turned to me, pajama pants and underwear on as if I'm turning my back. I want absolutely nothing. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> she has a freezing cold in the house. So he put a passcode on his privates, too. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That, that is exactly what I'm thinking. And the last issue I'm thinking, Your Honor, is he has a business. All of a sudden, before our business calls were handled in front of me, I know about your clients. I know what's going on. So that's fine, right? I'm supposed to know those things. All of a sudden, now the phone rings. What's, where's Eli? Running to the bathroom. Oh, why can't you answer she, the phone in front of me? She knows why I do that. She knows why I do that. Why is everything in the bathroom? We got the kids running around crazy. We got the TV on. I got to be professional. I got a business. I'm trying to keep my business afloat, get more customers. I, I'm, I just want to be professional, but she's thinking something else. OK, so, what is this business that you have that have means you got to take private calls? I have, I have a painting business. Okay. Painting? Yeah, painting, painting. OK. Yes. Like painting houses? Painting or... houses, businesses, anywhere. OK, so, so a commercial painter. Yeah. So what is it about a commercial painter that you have to go into another room? I mean, we've had our house painted. Well, you know, when somebody's picking those colors, they need you. Private, they need you privately. In a, in a private room. I want... That I nobody want, else can hear the colors. I want to pick teal for the bathroom. You got to do that on the low low. But teal Absolutely. number one or teal number two? Well, I kind of feel till number three. That's what I'm feeling. So okay. you want to do that on the low low. Am I right? You're right. Uh-huh. OK. <laughs> so in this chaos, what makes you think that he's cheating now? On Facebook, Eli happened to post a picture of me. Eli is a leg man. He loves my legs. That was, like, one of the first things he said <laughs> that he liked about me. I know it's strange. I do have wonderful legs. Uh, but... Oh. <laughs> Your Honor, but, okay, we start getting likes and comments. Everybody's enjoying the picture. All of a sudden, somebody comes out of nowhere. 
and says, well, if you like your wife so much, then why are you in my inbox? Oh. And Ms. Brown, you submitted your recollection of that Facebook post to the court, yes, correct? Yes, I did. All right, let's take a look at that. If you love your wife so much, why are you in my inbox? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Wow. That does beg the question, why were you in her inbox? I, I shouldn't have been. I should have ignored her. I should have. So you admit ignored. you were in her inbox. She was in mine first. I didn't go talking to her. She came talking to me. I didn't ask you who did it first. Okay. Right? This, this isn't third grade. We're talking about adult yeah. stuff here. Okay? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Right. You admit you were in her inbox. I was. In a I matter was. that you shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have been. I don't know why but I did see, it. Let's, I want to get why. to what, what happened after that, Your Honor. She comes to my personal inbox on Facebook and sends me screenshots oh, of where oh. he was in her inbox, sending eyes emojis, oh. like, I guess, what's up type thing. And it said, what's popping? Well, she was looking good. I give, she was looking good. <laughs> I, I, I was weak at the moment. I was weak. Okay. I was weak. That's an admission you probably should not have made, but okay, yeah. let's go with that. <laughs> so, Ms. Brown, did you ever confront this woman or talk to this woman you know or what? ask her anything? Your Honor, I don't ask questions to females because at the end of the day, I am his wife and he owes me <laughs> something. She doesn't owe me anything. She doesn't owe me anything. You do. Okay. I am so glad to hear you say that because so many folk come in here and they want to box with the, the woman. Wow. And I'm like, she ain't got nothing with you. This is the one. Exactly. <laughs> so he gets double the anger. <laughs> he gets it for her. He gets the anger for her and him. So we've got this Facebook thing and he admits that he shouldn't have been there. And so you all work through that. Have you found anything that makes you think he's cheating? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me get to this story, Your Honor. Okay, so Friday nights is his night. Eli leaves out on Friday nights. I don't see Eli till about 6 o'clock in the morning to maybe 12 o'clock p.m. That may be the times that he's going to come in. The it looks bad. The next it's day? It, it, yeah, the it, it next just looks bad. Day, it just looks bad. The next day. The absolute next day. Does he tell you where he's going? She knows um, I'm not doing nothing. No. Oh, my goodness. This she is knows. the thing. Oh, I'm going to the studio. I went to the studio with my friend. Eli's never rapped a day in his life. <laughs> so he disappears, and you claim you're at the studio. Yes, ma'am. Do you, you don't rap? Well, you know, you, anybody been to the studio know how that goes. I mean... No, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm asking. Look, pretend we haven't been to the studio. Tell us how it goes. I mean, you, you support artists. You help write, help produce. You know, things like that. You know what I mean? And, you you know, help him write and produce it. Yeah, I do. I do a little bit, not a lot. I just help write and stuff and stuff like that. So we got a renaissance man. He paints, <laughs> he writes, he produces. I do all it all. Right. I do it all. If you're doing all this, why didn't your wife know about this? She knew, I, she knew about that. She don't believe me. Have you ever taken her with you? No. Oh. So that might it... be a novel approach. Take your wife with Who's you. Who's gonna watch kids? You know what? If you real serious, you figure out a babysitter. If this is your hometown, you know somebody can babysit. Well, Thank okay, you. well, hold on for a minute, because I gotta... Thank you. I understand where you're going with that. I'm not sure I agree with it, because you need time to hang out with you your friends. You don't agree with me? I don't agree with you on this. <laughs> no, because oh. you need time to hang out with your friends. I need time to hang out with my friends. Guys need time with guys. Girls yeah. need terms with, uh, time with girls. I mean, that's, there's nothing but, wrong with that inherently. You're saying, well, if you're going out, you need to take your wife with you. Not every time. I agree. I agree to this extent. The, not every time. Okay. But he's saying that he's never taken her out with him. Poor choice. And the other part of it is just disappearing off the face of the earth. No. I'll give you that. Okay. So, Ms. Brown... See, he, he does agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> To a degree. I agree with you to a degree. <laughs> exactly. So, Ms. Brown, when he finally gets home, what do you say to him? Do you mind if I show you? Something? Oh, ab absolutely. No, yes. You got an exhibit. Yes, I actually do. All okay. right, let's see what you oh, got. Wow. Okay, Your Honor. Ron, you gonna help her out? I, I gotta see this. Uh, okay. Okay. So, I'm getting the girls in the car. We're getting ready to go. Okay. Normal family day. Okay, of course, when I get in the car, Eli has the seat all revved all the way back, and his legs are longer than mine, so, of course, the seat is all the way pulled back. 
Now, I look around the car. My sandals are in the back. That's always there. And I always keep a bottle of perfume. Those are things that, you know, women just always have random stuff in the car. And those are two things that I always leave. So I'm in the car. I'm pushing the seat forward, pushing the seat forward, pushing the seat forward. I hear a plunk. What was that sound? Mm. I look, and before I know it, a box of condoms <gasps> falls out from in between the seats. I can okay. Explain. All right. So, yeah, we we gonna let I, you do that. Okay. You can believe that. All right. So the first thing I do, Your Honor, I grab that, and the next thing I do is say, "Let me check for my limited edition." Perfume. Okay. So I start checking around. The sandals are there. I'm fine with that. I'm looking like, okay, let me check the glove box. That is where I usually keep the perfume, in my glove box. I'm looking. It's not there. I say, okay, let me give it a chance. I jump in the back seat. It's not there. I jump in the third row. It's not there. Okay. I jump in the trunk. It's not there. You are trying to find this perfume. Oh, I wanted my limited edition, Your Honor. I won't get it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I take the box of condoms and I proceed to asking Eli, where did these come from? Now, remind you, it's a female been in my car, clearly. Why is condoms in the car? Right? Okay. Right. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Let me have you step back to the podium. Mr. Brown. Your Honor. All right. That looks very bad. Really? Very bad. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to say that. <laughs> but I let my friend use the call. I was at the studio. He's at the studio. He said he needed to go to the store. Long story short, she goes get in the car. I didn't check the car. She come back. You didn't tell him you threw the condoms at me when you came in the house. Well, I said me. I showed well, him. Well, that's not the... <laughs> I didn't say my how. Friend, she, she showed you all right. My friend had the car. I don't know what he did with it, but why would I leave condoms in the car? Why well, I wouldn't even do it like that. That's stupid now. And that's what you're telling this court. You are not involved with any other women. No. And no. you did not have those condoms for the purpose of no. being with some other women. No. I don't uh, use condoms. I only have sex with her. We don't use condoms. Which makes it even more suspicious that there exactly. are condoms because the fact that you don't use them and now there are condoms in her car, she's like, okay, what is this? All right, so, Miss, Miss Brown, have you ever caught him with another woman? A woman did come in my inbox on Facebook and say that she FaceTimed with Eli while nude. <laughs> and I'm assuming they had phone sex oh. through the FaceTime, because she definitely said they were nude. Both of them were nude. Oh, yes. She was proud to admit that. So, when just her, it was him, too. Absolutely. Hmm. So, not just phone sex, video sex, basically. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. And she was very happy to tell me about it. Mm. Mr. Brown, were you having video sex with some other woman? I got caught up in the moment. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. But I, I didn't touch it. You didn't touch her, but you touched you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that what you're me? saying? Yeah, yeah. So you're hey. saying you didn't have any physical sexual no. contact with this mm -hmm. woman. It was all just via video. It, it was random. I got caught in the moment. I shouldn't have done it. I apologize to her, but still, she shouldn't have went her inbox told. I still don't see the point of telling her that. Okay, but here's the thing. If, she had a, if, if, that, if that woman had a man at time, I would go in his inbox, tell him, and mess her up. But you're focusing on the wrong thing. Why, you're the, focusing on why the woman told her instead of focusing on why you were doing what you were doing in the first place. That's where your focus needs to be. Absolutely. Yeah. You can't and control it... other people, but you can control you. That's true. That's true. I'm working on that. So let me make sure I got this straight, Mr. Brown. Your testimony to this court today is that you've never physically cheated on your wife. Yes, I never did it. And Ms. Brown, I see you kind of shaking your head. I see the expression on your face. You don't... You kind of want to believe that, but I think you don't. Exactly, Your Honor. That's and that's my why you're here concern. today, and that's why you need answers today. Exactly. I need answers today. I really need to know, because this determines what the future of our family. And what is at stake? Everything. Okay. Mr. Cutler, it is all on the line. It's, it is heartbreak in the making right here in front of us. And Ms. Brown needs to know where this relationship is going. Yeah. And whether it's going to go forward. Exactly. And she needs answers. Right. And to help her get these answers, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Schull, to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Mom, please escort Mr. Shaw in.
Mr. Show, good day. Good day. How, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you, sir. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I spent uh, almost 30 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C. I, uh, when I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. I think I'm the only person in the world that's got a master's degree in polygraph. And you conducted a polygraph examination on Mr. Brown, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Brown, did you have physical sexual contact with a woman from Facebook who commented on the photo you posted of your wife's legs? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being truthful, Your Honor. All right, let me ask this one. You asked Mr. Brown, since the start of your relationship with Mrs. Brown, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, you you had some inappropriate behavior. You've admitted yeah, inappropriate behavior. What are you gonna do differently? I gotta man up and treat her better and put her first and stop being stupid. There it is. Stop being selfish. Stop. There it is. <laughs>